There's a lot to unpack in today's gospel reading about our Lord's encounter with the Samaritan woman, who has a name, by the way, Saint Fotini, or Svetlana in Slavonic, at the well. We're going to focus on one little point, and it is the fact that all of this happens at a well. St. Augustine said that this, in this dialogue, this encounter takes place at a well to remind us of the depths to which our Lord entered in order to save us. And this calls to mind something that we hear in the letter to the Hebrews. For we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses, but we have one who was tempted in every way that we are, yet was without sin. And likewise in Philippians chapter 2, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, did not consider equality with God something to be grasped, but made himself of no reputation, taking the form of a bondservant and coming in the likeness of men. And being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even death on the cross. So this is how far the Christ goes to save us. And this idea of a well gives us a wonderful image of the Eastern Orthodox understanding of what Jesus really does. What is salvation? What is he doing when he comes as our Savior? So imagine, if you will, that somebody falls down into a well and they hit the bottom, it's obviously wet, and they injure themselves going down. They break a leg, they fracture a wrist, and the other shoulder is dislocated. And they're, they're just at the bottom of this well. And because they are so hurt, there is no way that they can themselves get out of the well. They need somebody from above to get them out of the well. But because they are so broken, it's not enough that the person can simply throw down a rope and say, grab on and I'll pull you up. That it is necessary for that person to go down to the bottom of the well and to take that person and grab onto them and lift them out of the well. See, this is, in the Orthodox Church, our understanding of what Jesus does for us as our Savior. Frederica Matthews Green called Jesus' saving work a rescue mission. That God comes to be one of us, like us in every way, as it said in Hebrews, except sin. Like us in every way that he even died, as it says in Philippians. And this shameful, painful death, no less. So that he could immerse himself into the depth of our brokenness which ultimately is into death itself. But when God enters the realm of the dead, when the one who is the source of life enters into death, death cannot hold the captive. It is overthrown by the presence of God. And life reigns from the grave. That's the orthodox understanding of salvation. It has nothing to do with angry fathers. It has nothing to do with standing in the way of divine wrath. It has to do with a God who was compassionate enough to be with us even at the depth of our brokenness, to go there to heal us and lift us up to the height of his glory. That's the icon of the resurrection you see on that banner right there. Jesus descending into Hades and lifting Adam and Eve out of their tombs, granting them and granting all humanity the possibility of eternal life. So the well in this story is very important because it reminds us that our God is not a God who is aloof or indifferent, but who chose. He could have done it anyway, and he chose to do it in such a way that he identified with us in all things even the most frightening, even the most desolate, that by identifying with us in that way, he could identify us with his glory in his kingdom. And for that, all we can say is to God be all glory. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages, 
Amen.